there and thank you for joining me. Before I begin, I want to touch base on my bone density loss. I did a video recently. I had my HIV specialist call me and tell me my numbers weren't so great. So they advised me and they given me uh, vitamin D3 uh, and calcium to take a thousand milligrams each per day. And on this one, uh, the vitamin D3, it says help maintain a healthy immune system along with bones and teeth. Now I know HIV and teeth can be a problem for some people. There's studies that have done by it and I, I believe I have that problem as well. I've been going to the dentist constantly trying to fix my teeth. So if you want to look at that video, it's on my playlist. There's a secondary test you can get done. Um, you get an injection of a dye and then you wait about three hours, then go back and they take several images of your bones. I have not gotten that done yet. Uh, we'll see if, that, if they, I do, I will touch base on that as well. So now here we go. What I didn't realize is that they were studying mRNA technology since the 1960s. That's incredible. Starting this past month, they started three clinical trials on HIV vaccines using the mRNA technology. They say it will take about five to 10 years, but take that with a grain of salt. As most of you already know that Pfizer and Moderna vaccines for COVID-19 are use the mRNA technology as well. They learned some things with this technology and using it for HIV, but remember, the HIV disease is a very tricky virus to tackle. So once you get HIV, it's in your body for life, whereas COVID-19, you can fight it off and shed it away. Here are some global estimates of people living with HIV. Starting in 1990, 8 million, 2,000, uh, 25.5 million, and that is quite a jump. And what I believe is that in 1996, they came up with this life-saving med, so people were living, no longer dying like they used to. So moving on, 2010, uh, 31.1 million and 2020, 37.7 million. Like I said, people are no longer dying of the disease like they used to, but there's still problems in the third world countries. Getting the treatment, it's quite expensive. I was reading that it's even hard for them to bring COVID-19 vaccines to Africa. With a population of about 3.1 billion, only about approximately 350 million have gotten vaccinated. We need to work harder on this. I mean, the vaccines are not that expensive, really. We still have a very long way to go. Not only do we, should we take care of the first world countries, but the whole world as a whole to tackle this health crisis we have. Not only but HIV, but COVID-19. So I decided to add another segment to my video because I feel it's very important. We're in the middle of our sixth wave of the COVID pandemic in Ontario. And now that masks are optional at work, people are asking me if I'm more afraid of getting it because of my HIV condition. Now, we didn't know much about it when the pandemic first started, but my special HIV specialist told me that I am at no more risk than the general population because I am on treatment and undetectable and at a steady and healthy CD4 white blood cell count. So I thought I'd get that out there because I've actually, quite a few people have come up to me and mentioned it. One last thing I want to mention is there's a, we have temporary foreign workers that come in and a gentleman came from Africa about three months ago and he came up to me in excitement asking me if, if I have my own YouTube channel and actually I was pretty stunned and I'm like yeah I do and he's like well I've been watching you you're doing such a great job and continue on and he was so positive about it and it really enlightened me and it actually made my day so he said he would subscribe and and keep watching and uh, it just wow it really touched me it doesn't necessarily mean he has HIV he just uh, stumbled upon my videos and thought it was interesting. So here we go. So I said in a previous video that I'd just do a one video a month uh, the last Friday. Well, when I have time and I feel like I would like to, I'll pop in another video like this one. So I'm very excited to hope to have a returning guest, Christopher Knox, to talk about his new injection treatment called Cabanuva. I did a video about a year ago about it, so if you want to check that out, it's on my playlist as well. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to like and subscribe and tap that notification bell if you haven't already. For now, Michael K here. Take care, everyone.